So hey everyone, welcome and we're going to do something which has been most requested that is a no makeup makeup tutorial. So let's start off. Okay, so we're going to start off with something which is very basic that is skin prep under your foundation. So as I have oily skin and you know like really extremely oily sweaty skin, I'm going to use this Innisfree Green Tea Skin Serum. So basically it's a water-based serum so it, would, it wouldn't really break down my makeup you know along with all the sweat and the oils. So we're going to go with that as the first layer all across our face. So next up we're going to move on to the Plume Silk Blur Primer which is like more of a moisturizer for me. So I'm just using it on the areas where I have a little bit of like you know uneven patchy skin especially because of of dryness and this routine works for me especially in the winters so if this was the summer I would skip on this product and I would just stick to the green tea one and I would directly jump in with my foundation so the better you prep your skin before you go on with your foundation the lot more easier it is to blend your foundation in and make it look like skin and it fits a lot better on your face so here I'm going to use the pack HD liquid foundation and I'm in the shade 3.0. So I just take a pump for starting off and we're going to take some of it and we're going to apply it all over our skin using our finger. So as you see, I'm not just dotting it and then going to go in, in with a tool. Rather, I'm just using my finger to spread the product across my skin. So start with one thin layer of foundation and if we need later, we can always go on for another one. So I'm just taking the product and I'm kind of just sliding it across like the entire face. I'm not focusing much on covering any of my spots and marks. So I'm just, I just want an even coverage on my skin. So we're just going to use a buffing brush and I'm more or less just slightly moving the product and I'm majorly just stippling it all across my face and uh, make sure that you go towards the ends of your face and you blend the product well into your hairline and like just below your jaw. So this helps and I'm wearing actually a close neck so I don't have to take it below my neck. But if you're not, then make sure that you cover your neck with foundation too. As we went in with a very thin layer of foundation, I don't want to move the product a lot because that would make me lose coverage. Hence, I'm just stippling and I'm pressing and I'm buffing the product in the same areas. So just for a little extra coverage, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this one is really runny and really thin, which sits much better above your pack foundation. So I'm just going to use that in the areas where I have a little bit of like discoloration, like under my eyes, on the sides of my eyes and all that stuff. And we're going to put the most tiniest, teeniest amount around our nose and around our mouth. So it's just the most tiniest amount. And if we need later, we can always add, but you cannot remove what you've already added. So remember this when you do your bases. I've always felt that fingers work much better for your base product, especially to start it off. And then you can just make it more perfect by using a tool rather than going directly in with a tool. So it's kind of like a two step blending process. So I'm just using my finger and I'm patting the product. I'm not dragging, I'm not tugging, I'm just patting and I'm pressing the shades and the colors inside fingers work as a great tool and this is more of a two-step blending process and I'm not tugging and I'm not pulling and dragging the product rather I'm just patting it and with whatever is left I take it in the remaining areas just for a little extra coverage so we're going to use the plume celestial sponge to just pat the products a little bit better and blend them a little more and why I'm not using a brush for this step is because I don't want to move the foundation underneath especially in the nose and the mouth area so I'm just using a sponge. So I'm going to use the Kate Beauty Banana Powder and we're going to use this very sparingly and I'm just going to apply it on the areas where I tend to crease. So I'm using a really small brush just for a very precise application of the product rather than a very huge fluffy brush. And with something as small as this, you have more control on where you're applying your product and take very little product and just set your under eyes and you don't want your under eyes to get dry. So you just got to have to find that sweet spot between dryness and you know your makeup from creasing. So just set it with the most tiniest, thinnest amount of powder and you're good to go. So we're just going to go back with our sponge and I'm going to push the product inwards rather than pulling and tugging. And this would help it to kind of like just bond well with the foundation without making it look like powder on top of your skin. So now we're going to do our eyebrows and I'm going to use the Etude House Eyebrow Pencil and this one is actually a shade lighter to my eyebrows and that helps in not you know making your eyebrows look uh, like it's overdone. 
So I'm just going to go in all of the gaps and I have a little bit around the arch of my eyebrow. So I'm just making small strokes like hair like strokes and we're not coloring in, we're just making small hair like strokes. And we're going to fill that area just a little bit. And every now and then just comb your eyebrows with a spoolie just to distribute the color in it and make it all look more smoother. So we're just going to use a little bit of wet and wild eyebrow mascara. This is a clear one. So we're just going to use this just to place our eyebrow hair and make sure that it does not move all day. So I'm going to use the Sugar Wonder Woman eyeshadow palette and take up that transition shade and we're just going to go right into our crease and buff it out. I'm pretty sure that you've seen a million of my shadow tutorials so we're not going to focus much on this step and just give it a very light wash of color and focus more on your crease and just choose something which is slightly deeper than your skin. So I'm just using a smaller brush from Bougie Beauty and I'm just going to go right into my lower lash line and add a little shadow there. So we're going to do this age old trick of making your lashes look a lot more voluminous and also to make it look like you're wearing liner but you're not which is to tight line and I'm just going to do this step and this is something I hate doing but it helps. So after that, I'm going to make like really small dashes very close to my lash line, almost like it does not exist. So go really close to your lash line and leave, you know, like leave that innermost part because that makes it look like you're wearing a liner. So for this tutorial, we're going to go very close and just in between all the hair strands. And you don't have to be very precise because we're going to start to smudge it out. So as you can see, I'm just like very slowly smudging it out. Just go horizontal and don't take it vertical because you don't want the color to show through. So you can see what a big difference it makes between both the eyes and once that's done we're going to curl our lashes using the Vega eyelash curler. So just give it about 7 to 8 pumps of it and that would help to give you like long fluttery lashes. So we're going to use the sugar mascara and go for about 3 to 4 coats of it and it's totally okay even if it looks like you're wearing mascara and I don't mind that look even for a no makeup makeup look. So another thing is that also when you coat your lashes, coat the upper part of your upper lash line and it makes a hell of a difference and it just makes your lashes look way more voluminous and plump and thick. So don't forget your lower lash line and go as close as possible to your eye and give it like a good coat of mascara and pull it outwards and make sure that there's no clumping. So we're going to get back to the base and I'm going to use the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Contour Stick and I'm using the cream contour because it's a lot more like it's a lot more forgiving with makeup and it just looks a lot more skin like. So we're just going to go under our jawline, not on the jawline. We're going to go under the jawline and we're going to blend it and buff it downwards and make sure that when you contour your jawline, you connect it all the way till your ear just to make sure that it does not look like a line, you know, just in the middle of nowhere. So just this works in making it look a lot more natural and realistic. So we're going to do the same on our cheekbones and make sure that you buff it well to all the way into your hairline and lift it upwards when you're doing it just to give you a lifted face. Also, we're just going to slightly contour our nose. So I'm not going to do it too precise. Hence, I didn't do the entire nose. So just a little on both the sides and then use your finger and then just blend it through and just like just scoop the product upwards towards the center of your nose to make it look a lot more thinner. So moving on, we're going to use the color bar blush and we're going to use that one in the shade flush satin. It's kind of like a pink, you know, it's more of a dusty pink. So we're going to focus it more towards the cheekbones and then we're going to use the Nykaa highlighter and I'm just going to use the most tiniest amount, especially on the high points of my face. So take it all the way like towards the side of your face if you want to make your face look a lot more lifted. And also if you have like huge pores and more acne towards the center, this is a great tip which works. So when I highlight my face, I do tend to keep the angles more on the vertical way so that it makes my face look a lot more longer, especially because I have a round face. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the Swiss Beauty lipstick and I'm going to leave the shade down in the description bar below. So we're just going to do a little bit of lipstick and just to make it natural, once you apply your lipstick, we're going to just like, we're just going to blend it like with just whatever product is on the upper lip. 
so i'm just going to do this by closing my mouth and i don't know why this helps me much better and gives me precise lines than me just applying it directly so maybe i'm just not good at applying lipsticks so yeah so never mind so we're just going to do that and yeah we get the color on the lower lip so we're just going to like slightly wipe it off using a tissue so it reduces the intensity and then blend it in with your finger just to make sure there's no products which are like you know like like crumbling up in all of your fine lines so once that's done take a little bit of your lip balm just kind of bring a little bit of shine back to your lip making it look more natural so just pat it in uh, using a lip balm above your lipstick is a lot more helpful than a lip gloss because lip glosses do look fake so a lip balm would make it just give you a very natural radiant glow and that helps with the entire tutorial so this completes the tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed it and do let me know which other looks and tutorials you want from my side uh, and of course this one does not really cover up your acne marks you do see some of them peeking through but i don't really mind that because it's more of a no makeup makeup look so it looks good when you know some spots do show to make you not look like an alien so i think in terms of that that's kind of awesome as i forgot my inner corner highlight we're going to go back to the nika highlighter and we're just going to add like not just a little but just a lot of highlighter in our inner corner because i love inner corner highlighter so even if it looks fake i don't really mind so we're just going to go for like we're just going to add all the punch in our inner corner and it's going to brighten up your face and just brings more attention towards the center of your face So this completes the tutorial and do let me know which other looks and reviews that you want from my side and make sure you check out my Instagram channel I'm going to link it down below and yeah like give me a big thumbs up if you like this one and until next time bye